वेलकम बैक टू पैनल डे सुपर हीरोज अहॉय दिस इज तुषार शुक्ला टुडे विल जस्ट टॉक अबाउट सम वर्दिंग बुक्स सो वर्दिंग एज एज आई हैव मेंशन प्रीवियसली इन माय वीडियोस इट्स अ वेबसाइट फॉर ओल्ड कॉमिक बुक्स ओल्ड वेस्टर्न कॉमिक बुक एंड दे हैव अ वेरी गुड कलेक्शन एंड देयर इज लॉट ऑफ सेल्स गोइंग ऑन वेरी ऑफन सो आई विल जस्ट रिव्यू एंड शो यू सम ऑफ द पैनल्स ऑफ सम बुक्स आई हैव रेड दिस वीकेंड सो लेट मी स्टार्ट एंड This will also tell you what kind of elements I like in the books or not. So this is a Legion book, uh, very different kind of book by the team of uh, Watchmen. Apart from Alan Moore, so there is uh, Keith Giffen in that. In this, there is no front cover. Uh, there is no uh, blow up page or title here, and it just starts off right ahead and very uh, signature kind of work is there of Keith Giffen. There is lot of panels and very. introspective very uh, very uh, philosophical kind of writing which does not really move in a very superhero way very conversation based and this is how it moves um, it take takes a while to get adjusted to keep kiffin's uh, art style and this writing is quite good and in a few pages you actually start enjoying it so i found it a very good buy and a very good read um, and the interesting thing is there is a uh, the titles actually appear quite late so this was another art panel but the titles appear somewhere here the quiet darkness part 2 and then there is i think a change of the team and artists and there's lot of these messages that uh, it's very science fictiony um, then another titles appears at page 23 and that's where the book ends pretty much and there's lot of these nice pages so this was a very different legion book lsh the quiet darkness part 2 uh, moving forward we have uh, doctor strange uh, there's a book called sorcerer supreme siege of darkness part 7 i didn't like it that much it the art is a little average i would say but there's just too much happening in this book i mean it's just for the cover that i bought it and uh, yeah so it's one of those books that didn't really do it for you it's uh, just an average book didn't really enjoy it much in between you get some good art though this is a very good art that i liked this is a doctor strange book uh, moving on there's another book judgment day justice league america this also i uh, like the justice league earlier books uh, kind of uh, reimagination of characters are good here this book i'm yet to get to so i'll be reading this very soon but the art looks not great it's quite cluttered art let me see who is the artist so pencils are by mark campos i've not heard of him then wado so yeah this is kind of a b team of jla uh, not a very popular team and i'll get to it now coming back to something good so this is a thor book that was a little pricey but uh, uh, this this is actually a thor the eric masterson version so he uses a cane and there was donald blake and then there is eric masterson this book is very good it has the feel of a spider man book like tom defalco is the uh, writer behind it and um, pencils are done by ron friends and it's like a team effort writers and artists so this is something i really really enjoyed there is also references by uh, of two different thors so that's something very interesting it's like a tongue in cheek kind of fourth wall breaking uh, moments and the reaction is is awesome like uh, suddenly it moves to a action based in space and space and the way it moves it's really really interesting and then thor is also battling a mid mid age crisis here so his ex wife and then her her husband and his kid and so on so story is very well balanced so there is there you go there's a second thor so it's really really enjoyable this book and uh, you can see the art is awesome in this and i was really happy because once in a while when you find a book that uh, you uh, you really end up enjoying and it's like a big feature book as well i mean it's it's a thor book with such a catchy cover and you can just see this when hammers clash so 
it's it's called the Thor War and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it really justifies the title. So this is the one part I've read and this is the next part, The Mighty Thor and Hammer's Clash. So really, really exciting book. Uh, the two Thors battle uh, Stellaris, the Celestial Slayer. So very, very uh, signature Marvel type of book, like action based. And this is what you want from comics, right? Superheroes are why. So yeah, a really enjoyable book and I'm really ha happy. So Worthing is anyways doing a great job in bringing these books to us. There is some more Worthing uh, book reviews coming up on this channel, so stay tuned. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, fun Sunday uh, comic book reading and some views by me. Thank you for watching Panel Days. This was Tushar Shukla. See you in next video.